Good day, one and all. Thank you for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. All year round, you can see this forecast and tons more information for the main high peaks at our website, WSKITV.com. And for the remainder of the weekend, we're looking at mainly cloudy skies on Sunday, 57 to 61 for high, and that's at the base. So if you're going up on the mountain, dress for cooler temperatures up there. Calm winds come a little bit noticeable in the afternoon out of the south, 5 miles per hour. Overnight lows, 46 to 50 degrees. Back to sunshine on Monday, 66 to 70 for a high, 48 to 52 overnight. Again, calm winds in the morning becoming a little bit out of the south in the afternoon at 5 miles per hour. So a beautiful day. Hope you can stick around if you get the long weekend. And then more sunshine for Tuesday, 73 for for a high, so that's going to be a revisit of summer. Will it be the last? 52 overnight, Wednesday and Thursday, partly sunny skies. 72 for a high on Wednesday, 53 overnight, then 67 for a high on Thursday, getting down to 54 Thursday night. So we're seeing a nice mild stretch of weather, even though we're heading towards the middle of October. Hope you've enjoyed the beautiful leaves. They've really been putting it on for you. If you didn't get into the base large, Dog Not Gone will be there again on Sunday with all of their fabulous products, including the main flag. And also in the base lodge is Wendy Webster Goods calendars and beautiful prints that you want for your home camper condo. Be sure to stop in and visit. And Maine Ski and Snowboard Museum is stoked to finally announce that the check-in center will be the museum. So we're all looking forward to that. What a great location for it. It's the 23rd ski and kayak sale happening down at Happy Tunes in the Valley. If you didn't get down there on Saturday, be sure to do it on Sunday. And Java Joe's also open on the mountain just for this homecoming weekend. So pop in and get yourself a treat with Care Bassett Coffee. Freshly brewed there. Sports and Fitness Center also now open back up. Please call ahead for reservations. And if you're looking for a hearty breakfast, the Spooky Moose Breakfast up in Stratton at the Looney Moose will certainly keep you filled up for the rest of the day. And whatever you need, you can find it even on Sundays at Fodder's Market and Hardware Store. Out the back, they have everything for your home chores. And homecoming weekend means the action continues at the rack. There's entertainment Always a ton of fun to be had at the rack at the bottom of the access road. And Trails End is having music from 3 to 6 on Sunday afternoon. Robin Cottle will be playing. And another place to head to on a Sunday is the Off the Beaten Path restaurant and pub for their brunch. Serving from 9 till 2. Well worth the trip, especially when the leaves are so gorgeous. What a great excuse to take a ride north. We will... Rebroadcast at 10.30, the annual meeting once again, in addition to our live show on Sunday morning. And all year round, if you want to stay in touch, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, in addition to our website, our ways you can know before you go throughout the Sugarloaf region from the Canadian border to Kingfield, we're your number one source of info.